unfortunately. But this is human nature. It's like Freud said. I'm not an economist. However, I know psychologically the premises on which utopian socialism is predicated on are totally untenable. Why? Ominous loop is ominous. Man the wolf to man. Repression must be in effect. If you want law and order, they go together. However, man needs a receptacle for his aggression. That's why he must be taught how to be a predator, a good predator, but have it under control. This is part of survival skills. Nobody can, can take that away. And you take New York. There's 10 million different stories in a big city. 10 different million different ways, perspectives, beliefs. Eric Hoffa, the true believer. Some people, many people, are impressed by the strong man. I was, was sucker for the strong man. The confident man. The con man. Tony Robbins. This is scientifically proven. I've got 47 years of experiment. I'm still a mister. No credentials at all. Just the experience. Cost a fortune to see Tony Robbins. You better have a lot of money pasted all over your body that Robbins can grab if you want to spend a little personal time with him. And there's no guarantee. Listen to me very closely. There's always a disclaimer. It really comes down to you. If you don't have the right stuff, I can't help you. Well, I didn't need Tony Robbins or anybody else to tell me that. That's obvious. Why do I need Tony Robbins? Why do I need him to tell me that? I know it by myself. If I have any rights at all, I do not have rights that I cannot assert, defend, under all conditions, especially in condition of ex social extremities. That's called encounter and confrontation. Encounter is the unexpected. You can't prepare for it. You gotta improvise and you gotta do it fast. You gotta do it at the time it occurs. Either you can or you can't. Either you have the temperament for it or you don't. That's period. And you have to look deep into inside yourself and ask a lot of questions while you're under a lot of pressure and extreme discomfort. See how you hold up. And when you're scared. And when there's a consequence hanging over your head. Now you're worried. Now you're scared. Now you're distracted. Now you're not focused. And this is what the bully boy tries to do. This is called getting inside your man's head. Once you get inside that head, true believer, his own mind will put him in prison. His own mind will make him a victim. So the whole problem turns on how, in fact, do you de-victimize? It's all about that. And it, of course, has nothing to do with, I'm five, two and a half. Has nothing to do with any of those things. You can't plead anything as an excuse. Infirmities, uh, phenotype, that's physical, uh, physically compromised features that people will mock and ridicule, you can't blame me any of that. You have to push past that. Call for preparation, calls for a lot of physical training, calls for stamina and endurance. Nobody can do that for you. That's you and you alone. You have to bring a lot into the game and then you have to lock in that mindset of complete abandon, complete no doubt. You cannot doubt yourself. Doesn't matter how many people doubt you. You take me, for example. Everybody doubts me. Everybody mock and ridicule a short man like me. Doesn't matter. As long as I don't doubt myself. That's all that counts. And then I'm willing to toss their own bullshit right back in their face at the time it's done. 
But you have no rights unless you can assert those rights. You have no rights unless you can defend those rights. There is no such thing as a good Samaritan. There is no such thing as fairness. And there is absolutely no such thing as an entitlement. You can't argue that. And there's no such thing as arguing hardship. Doesn't figure into it. We're talking about the protocols. That's all. The legal aspects, the social aspects, the physical aspects, not what we're talking about. Let's look at the real world. Let's be practical. And if you're giving any advice, unless it's practical, unless it's field testable, it's worthless. You're a pedant. You're a worthless pedant that's just shooting your mouth off. And this world is full of some of these bullshit experts that are all blown up, all blown up. They have, have an ego on them. They've never done anything. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. But they're real, real pompous and self-righteous in what they present. Adamant about it. And it's all bullshit. All bullshit. You have to be willing to literally take a man apart or a woman the same thing. No respect unless they give me respect. They mock, they ridicule, they try to humiliate. I give it right back to them right then and there. Only way. Return fire. Retreat only to come back again. Retreat and then return again. Then come back with new tactics. That's all. You never quit. You never retreat unless you're doing it for strategic reasons. You're coming right back at the target. Right back again. Right back to you. All the time. You have to figure payback. Revenge is sweet in this sense. But it's got to be strategic. Critical thinking. Critical thinking. Strategy. Seichel. That's practical common sense. What's in it for me? And what's in it for my opponent? Where am I vulnerable? Where is my opponent vulnerable? What do I see here and now as presenting me physically? How am I going to deal with it? You don't have a mindset? Locked in? If you're not prepared, locked in as a mindset, you'll behave to your disadvantage when the test comes. You won't pass it. Guaranteed. If you weren't taught in the most uncomfortable, worst situations possible to learn in, with distraction, with harassment, when the situation really comes and you're under pressure, and you won't perform. Guaranteed. You heard it from me. Guaranteed. I defy anybody to challenge or question one single word, one single premise of what I'm saying. I defy anyone to do it.